you're a god power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Introduction and Lesson Number One This book came as quite a pleasant and unexpected surprise. While researching the supernatural and other related and unexplainable phenomena, I discovered that there were patterns to these events, and that these patterns were evidence that our reality is not a static and innate aspect of life as we have known it. Instead, it is a dynamic an ever-changing aspect of personal experience. As it turns out, there is not one overall reality that is consistent throughout the universe, but instead, there are as many realities as there are perceivers of reality, and that they are all as personal and individual to each of us as our own fingerprints. I will be presenting evidence in this book that cannot be explained in any other way. It is clear that we are actually more powerful and more capable than we have ever known to change our own reality and even change our whole world in ways that seem unbelievable. And yet, it is all true. Ironically, it is the unbelievable nature of our changeable realities that is the very reason that we don't fully and effectively exercise our amazing God power. In this book, I will explain the mechanisms and functions of our physical reality and how its design works so well to appear realistic, quote-unquote, in every detail. But, however magnificent physical reality is, it does have what seem like flaws in its design, which reveal its true nature. These apparent flaws in the reality mechanism have become evident due to man's evolving use of his magnificent God power and expanding belief in himself, which has outpaced physical reality's ability to maintain a realistic physical experience. However disconcerting these flaws in physical reality's realism, the gaps in its realistic appearance are justified and explained as supernatural occurrences, which actually gives them validity. It will become clear that physical reality is merely an elaborate illusion, not too different from the reality that was depicted in the movie The Matrix. However, our imaginary reality is not created by machines or some supercomputer, but instead by us, the participants who are experiencing it firsthand. It is a marvelous creation which offers us a way to experience a physical state of being that is far different from that which we could have experienced in our true form as non-physical beings of pure positive energy. I will teach you how to use your God power in effective ways to accomplish anything and everything that you have ever wanted in your life experience. Nothing is outside your ability when you are using your God power. However, it does take discipline and practice to use it well. But, mastery over your God power will directly equate to mastery over your own reality and your life. This book is geared to knowing. Knowing is belief on steroids. Knowing is the basis of your reality. If you can reach knowing, you have absolute and complete control of your life. 
To assist you in learning this material, I have included video examples. These videos are a bonus to your learning. While it is not necessary to view the videos because the information about them is complete in the book, it will add additional clarity and confidence to your knowing. Since seeing is believing, these videos are a bonus learning opportunity for those who are eager to really understand this material and want to learn more. I have also included chapter review information. These are the cliff notes of each chapter. It is the main points that you should know. After the chapter review notes, I have included a chapter quiz. This is designed to further clarify the material. The answers are in the back of the book. It is my intention to assist you in every way that I can to reach knowing. And when you do, the world will belong to you. It is important to read the entire book because I have distributed the main points that you need to know throughout the entire book. Each of the most important points in this book could have been made again and again in every chapter. However, if I had made the main points in every place that they were appropriate, <laughs> this book would have been at least three times as big as it already is. So, I have selected a certain group of main points for each chapter, including the chapter on what's theoretically possible, which I think is the most interesting and thought-provoking chapter in the book. In writing this book, I unfolded it in a logical progression. However, as I mentioned above, so many points that I didn't get to until later in the book are so fundamental and important to every chapter that I highly recommend that you read this book at least twice to get the most out of it. Once you've read it through the first time, the information and comprehensive understanding you will then have will serve you well in your second reading. You will get so much more out of your second reading once you understand the whole book. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Lesson, Number 1. Let your quest for knowing continue.